welcome. We're here. I know in Singapore. Yes. Welcome. Finally connected. Finally. With all the great vibes. Paris. What were your top five shows of the season? I like Bonbon. Okay. I mean, I loved how he's playing now with like major couture. He's bringing out the DNA again of couture dressing. That was beautiful. Copperney was also really good. Oh, that was cute. Yes. That was I mean, cute. coming up with a bag made out of nothing, <laughs> it still exactly. fits a cell phone. I mean, how genius is that? Of course, I'm a Scaparelli girl. I love Scaparelli. Oh, great show. Um, they're trying to bridge the gap of everyday life. Mm -hmm. And, but it's very wearable. I like to be casual, but yet still very strong in a sense. I mean, sense. this is like your how, casual, huh? Yes, but have like a power <laughs> gold belt, which they had like that whole cowboy feels to it. Yeah. I love that. YSL, I'm a YSL girl. Of course. The sheer was really good. It had a good also reference with um, how YSL did those shapes back in the 60s, if I'm yes, not mistaken. Yes, right. Sakai. Oh, wow. I loved it. You know, she's just so sweet. Her as an individual, she's so humble, so sweet. She's mm -hmm. so talented. She worked with the best in the past. And I love how she kind of you know just when you thought you've imagined everything already she gives like she breathes new air of how things should be worn my last show which was Dries Van Newton. oh yeah so beautiful you were there I was how there how did you feel about that I loved it I mean I'm a huge Dries fan and you know the soft colors that he played with you know for fall winter season I thought that was really fresh yeah. and then you know nighty styling was yes. coming back yes. strong again with those netted kind of like t-shirts uh, one over shirt yes. and you know the mixture of texture uh, the way it forms over your body mm -hmm. I really love the way that he plays textures colors and he brings newness yes. somehow mm -hmm. with everyday classics exactly. and everyday pieces yeah. and it's very very easy to yeah. wear and you know just what you see women enjoying yeah. and playing with Agree, agree, agree. A woman today which is a little bit muted, but still not forgetting her personality. I exactly. felt like that was, if, if personality had a show, it'd be just Dries Van Noten. There were a lot of like new designers showing this season. Mm -hmm. What was the most anticipated show for you and which did you love? Kamali. Yes, Chloe. yes. Oh, it was so beautiful what I saw coming down the runway. You know, none of us went in with any uh, expectation think, yeah, yeah. because really Chloe has been through so many changes. And I think Chamina, really what she presented was truly essentially the DNA of what we understand to be the Chloe girl. Yes. So it was those beautiful flowy gowns. It was those she tough wants, boots. Yes. And you know, the way that she styled it, she tucked one part of the dress into the boot. It was such a clever styling idea, but all of us were like mesmerized with so that. Beautiful. Really beautiful. Colors were great, textures mm -hmm. were great. The girls had like fluffy, bouncy, yes. beautiful hair. I mean it was fluffy, but it wasn't heavy. It wasn't heavy. It was so, light. Yeah. It was it was just very sort of effervescent without the need of helium. Yes, it was just yes. naturally light. Yes. Yes. So I think she's really a designer that yes. I, I really that enjoyed. Stood out. I want to know your your like the trends that you saw. Every other look was a full fur coat. Yes, I love it. And I also love the metallics that was on yes. show. It mm -hmm. sparked a lot of flashes and also sparked a lot of conversation, mm -hmm. I think. The stockings of the color blocking, I love that. You can wear the shortest skirt but still look very pretty and proper. Yes. I love the, the oversized uh, blazers which have been there but they're embracing it because yes, it's very buildable, easy to wear, easy to elevate your look from day to night. Love that. I was inspired by Miu Miu totally mm -hmm. because of course the styling was really really good but most importantly I was inspired by how they featured and you know different characters different women of different age mm -hmm. and that's super important nowadays because you don't want to look at fashion just a certain like oh you have to be perfect you have to be this age or this height this thin da 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 this was inspiring for me I love what you know Jasker has been doing yes. and continues to do at uh, Vuitton I mean it was a crowd of 4,000 yes, people. Yes, it was huge. One you of his biggest shows. One of his biggest shows and invited people from the ateliers, from, you know, staff. It just so the good. Vuitton staff to share the space 
and to share moment. his vision in yeah. the moment with us, with the editors and with the influencers and the celebrities. Yeah. And you know, he actually put Felix, yeah. you know, from Stray Kids down the runway yes. who looked amazing. He looked so good. You know, in this kind of like silver cyborg yes. elf kind Which of outfit. Which also says so much about the fluidity of the yes, clothes. Yes, of course, the fluidity of the clothes, the structure of the clothes. What I love about Shizker is his play of proportion, is his use of couture fabrics, in his clothes, you know, he had that tromploy uh, of the of the uh, trunks yes. that he printed on the dresses. So that again was a, a newness that yes, he brought. Orange was you so know, nice, orange, striking. I can see you in that. Mm, you I know, like it. yeah, mm -hmm. it was beautiful. And uh, I think it was truly, you know, ten years of Bravo. Yes, I think yeah. for just care. It was so beautiful.